It's time for more Grim Tales, The Bride. I'm your Gibbs, and we're on chapter number three, which is called The Rifle. So far, what are you guys thinking about the story? I'm actually digging it. This whole, like, bride and groom, and they were getting married, and she got pushed off the bridge, and we don't know who did it, and the crazy merchant dude that comes out of flames or something. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this. Is it working for you? Are you digging it? Because I'm actually really digging this a lot. So let's get into this. We have a lot to cover. We're not even halfway through the game already because we have six chapters for this game. So let's find out what's going on between our friend here, Louisa, and the gray, wasn't it? I think I can see the silhouette of a small key. Damn it, I could have jabbed him with the broken bottle from the last chapter. No such luck. I know you and couples have their fights, but maybe my sister was unhappy with Grey. I don't know. What do we have here? I need that rifle. I should disable the bar, so I assume it's something to do with this here. This mechanism will lower the bars, but three, three parts are missing. Oh, we can go to the second floor. Or we can go outside. Parquet, what's this? I think a crowbar would be perfect here. This The tile isn't secured, but I can't lift it with, a, with my bare hands. I need a tool. So it looks like we're actually going to have to get a crowbar in this game, which, from my experience, is actually late <laughs> in one of these types of casual games. It's all good. Everyone loves a good crowbar here and there. Cat. <laughs> What's the cat doing with dynamite? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yikes, the cat sitting on the dynamite. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we have a cat sitting on dynamite. That's a little odd. I need a bass relief stone. Um... What's this? Okay, we got the bag. Closed door. The door is locked with a key. I can't enter without it. Okay, so I need a cat. Something for a cat. Something for a door. And something for a bumblebee. A moth. Whatever that image is there. Okay, so let's go outside, everyone. Oh, we've got options out here, don't we? I like the reflection down here. That's kind of nifty, isn't it? Foundation of the sign. Whoa, what's going on here? Mr. Wrench. When we were kids, we would throw stones at the signs to turn them. There's something stuck to the sign. Okay, so we clearly have to throw a stone at it, I guess. Okay. To the lake. To the stable. We'll go to the stable. Oh, what's this motor here? Okay. Oh my goodness, this looks complicated. Uh, the well mechanism is broken. I need the green tube to make it work. Always something missing. What about the crate? Oh, another lock. The crate is locked. The fastener doesn't look strong, though. Can a wrench do it? That won't work. Alright, let's go inside. Whoa, this is freaky. Wow, and the crazy lock here. To get the ladder, I need to undo the lock. Who, in their right mind, locks up a ladder this way. I have a ladder in my garage and it's hanging on two nails above my car, well next to my car, but I certainly don't wrap it around like this with chain and put a crazy ass lock on it. Oh, this game's... these games, not this game, these games make me laugh. Uh, what do we have here? A, a grain sorter. I think I'm missing something, I'm gonna guess. I need something to catch the grain in. Well, guess what? I have a bag. 
Where's the bag go? That won't work? Oh. I thought the bag would catch the grain. Do it from here? There it goes. There's a weight missing. Crap! See, that's what I figured. So I've got the bag, now I gotta go find the weight. Oh, everything's missing. Why is everything so missing? Notch, what's this all about? The ladder is pressing the board, but something is hidden under it. So I gotta get the key to unlock the ladder that unlocks the board. <laughs> something hidden in it. This game has got it well done, I have to admit. And uh, kind of the satisfaction of finding that one object that unlocks the next and then the next is really high with this game. Well, I will give it that. The spout. What's the spout for? The pipe is closed behind the grating. I think I should unscrew the bolts. Okay, cool. We're unscrewing bolts, everyone. Now what? There's something in the well. I can't get it until the water turns. So I have to re fix it, do I? Okay, let's go to the pavilion. Woo! We get to find something. And that's one thing I will say about this particular game, that in most of these casual puzzle games, you spend three quarters of your time doing hidden object kind of sceneries. This game is the flip of that. Where I feel like I'm spending 75% of my time adventuring and solving puzzles and maybe only 25% doing the sceneries or the economic sceneries. Which is kind of cool. I think that that's a step in the right direction. So let's have a looky, looky, looky here. Grab Mr. Fishing Rod. Uh, grab whatever that is. 11.45, what's that all about? clock hands. Okay, so we must have to set the clock to 11.45. Well, that's good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some clicky-clicky. We haven't done clicky-clicky in a while. It's a very messy birdcage. But that's okay. We'll figure this out and we'll find everything we need to find. Figure out what's important here and what isn't. Oh, nice crown. Kilo, kilo, kilo. Number seven? No? Beads? That's a shrimp right there, buddy. I love shrimp. Do you guys like shrimp? A little shrimp on the barbie? Here, there's a plumb line. Those are pretty old school. Now we use lasers. Okay, a jar. There's a jar right there. A jar and a duck. Oh, you know what? I did that whole one without a hint. Yay for me. And guess what we just found? We found a scale. Now the question is, do we need like that pan? Because I'm thinking we do. Let's go to the square before we get back to where we once came before. So all we have here is a lion? Really? What's going on here? Something's hidden behind the com... Ooh, how do I say that word? This is a hard plaque. I can't break it with a simple tool. Can I break it with a fishing rod? No. So something's definitely hidden in there. I can't break it with a simple tool. Alright, was there a place for me to fish? Uh, well, I don't know. Let's just see if this works without the... Oh, actually, okay. Cool. Let's do the puzzle. Set the weight so every scale shows the right weight. Uh, what do you mean the right weight? Two. Mm, let's start high and go low. Five, four, 
three. Eight. What? Eight. Can we only put two on here? No, there's nine. Um. That's eight. I think I got it, guys. And gals. Nice puzzle. I like math puzzles like this. Math is cool. So what are we supposed to do with this now? A full bag. Hmm. Uh can we just put the bag here maybe? No. Can we throw the bag here? No. Alright, we'll hold on to it and we'll head over to the lake. Tree, how long is casting for light? But I can't look inside. It's too high. That's what we need the ladder for, is my guess. A quagmire. Hey, it's a quagmire. I need a sandbag to set in the muck. Guess what I have? Oh yeah, we have a raft to check out. <laughs> Messy old raft here. Yeah, math is cool. Stay in school. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Oops, no, let's go back there. I actually, in my day job, do a lot of, of math, but that wasn't my intention. It just sort of happened. My career evolved to have me spend lots of time doing statistics and business problem solving and that kind of good stuff. So, yep, I have a job, full-time job. And, uh, this is more of my hobby. I certainly don't get paid to do this stuff. The way I get paid is by your satisfaction and my enjoyment. That's how I get paid. Okay, so what do we got here? Let's just do a quick one here. Because I'm feeling this one might be a little bit tougher than the last one. Oh, there's that green thing we needed. So we need a domino, which is right here. We need a fish and a shark. There's the shark. Isn't that a shark? Am I... <laughs> it doesn't say, it say shark. That seems odd to me. Okay, let's see if we can find the fish then. Seahorse? Nope, that's not it. Alright, I'm gapping here. That's a fish? That doesn't help me at all. That was the shark. See, I told you guys that was the shark. Okay, so we now have this um, cylinder thingamajiggy. We need the ladder to get up here, for sure. So what's this? A spring. Ooh, how do we get that? I see a saw at the bottom of the spring. Hello, fishing rod. Cool. Claw cans, okay. So what can we do with the fishing, or I mean with a saw? Um, trying to think if there was something we could do with the saw. A bench. Why is this still like lit up like this? That seems weird to me. I don't know if maybe the saw works here. I'll try it. I'm thinking probably something more like a mallet or something. So that didn't work. Go back to where we once came from before. No. Can we saw it off? 
No, I think we have to get the ladder free to do that. All right, well, let's try this uh, puzzle thing, Majiki. Find out what the heck we're up to here. Uh, I'm so glad to see a reset button because when it comes to these puzzles, this is very key to your enjoyability. Is the ability to reset. Place the weight so every green tube reaches the bottom. Every green tube reaches the bottom. Uh, let's see here. Green is heavier than yellow. So I'll put on the big one. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh wow, that one actually took it all the way to the bottom. Let's try blue here. Um, so now I've only got blue and yellows. Uh, how much is the yellow worth? Okay. All right, <laughs> there you go. What's the spout? What is all this? Scissors. Hmm. It wouldn't be hard to saw the fastener. Um, there we go. It's just a piece of wood. That's kind of not very secure at all. Mm. Hello, my friend. My crowbar friend. It reminds me of Half-Life and Gordon Freeman. It also reminds me of 90% of all of these casual puzzle games. Welcome to the crowbar. Now, where the heck was I supposed to use that crowbar? Let's try it over here at the square. This feels right to me. Oh. Although this does not feel like a recent memory as to what I'm supposed to do. Um, nor is this. We have to go back, I think. Yeah, it was this parquet floor, wasn't it? Let's see, keep the crowbar, keep the crowbar. What do we have here? A piece of a puzzle. Um. I don't know, do you think the, the cat would like scissors? <laughs> Here, play with some scissors. Crap. This picture is strange. People are strange. Isn't that a door song? Is that aging me? When I know a door song? Dun, 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 dun. So what am I supposed to do with scissors and a puzzle piece? I don't know, can we... I, this seems ridiculous, so... No, I don't think so. Nothing else is in here. We've done this puzzle, we've done that. Can we cut the box, maybe? Can we cut this? No? Like, I haven't seen a clock where I'm supposed to even manage this. If this is just a lion, what the heck am I supposed to do with a lion? As you always have to do with this, these types of games, you always have to kind of back paddle, back paddle a little bit to retrace your footsteps. And I know I have a clock hand, one of two. Um, scissors for cutting something and a piece of puzzle so in here we had this which was a lock that notch gets that from the ladder so I know that's that um, 
if she were just a projection of my memory, I would... I'd hug her. How many people think that having a giant moose head <laughs> is a classy thing? I guess this is a log cabin, so maybe it's more appropriate there. I have to give him that credit for that. So you can do you do see an impression of a key here and it's all stitched up. Hmm. Ah ha ha ha. <laughs> I have Gray's key, and I'm going to use it on this door right here, and that's going to take me to the bedroom. That's right, I'm in the bedroom, and we have a nice sparkly sparkles here, and this is where, okay, so this is the clock. I mean, other than the um, carpet that's a little worn out, this is not a bad bedroom, don't you think? Can we do this puzzle yet? Several fragments are missing, so I'm gonna assume that that's what this is for. Whoo wee! Create the picture using the pieces, drag the lines in the row. Oh my goodness, I don't like this at all. Oh. Don't draw your head up there. Oh, actually, that turned out to be pretty darn quick. Turn mouse. Oh, let's just go there. That actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? And then I just have to swap out these ones. That's a pretty cool puzzle. I like that. Not overly hard, but cool. Oh, what did we grab there? Some sort of button. Okay. So what I think we'll do is we'll quickly do the under the bed uh, scenery. Let's find out. Let's start doing some clicky clicky. Oh yeah, handcuffs. Who doesn't need a good pair of old fashioned handcuffs? How many of you have a set of old fashioned handcuffs lying around your house? Or better yet, how many of you have a set of handcuffs lying around your house? <laughs> Let's talk. I want to hear all about that. Okay, maybe not all about that. I'd like to hear a little bit about your handcuffs. Okay, I don't want to hear about your handcuffs. I changed my mind entirely. A. A is for apple. Which is good enough for me. What do we got here? Oh, hippopotamus. Okay. Antlers. We have a dinosaur and alien. A dinosaur. Alien. That just... How do we do it? A, a dinosaur, and an alien. Hmm. <laughs> That, that must be the alien. Okay. So now we need a, the. I'm assuming it's the letter A and a dinosaur. Mm, oh. This is, what do you call that guy? Steg, Stegotaurus or whatever? Okay, let's see if we can find A before the timer runs out. We'll do a little metagame like I like to do from time to time. gotta be somewhere. <laughs> Crap, I missed it. Oh wow, okay. Fair enough. And we have found something else that's important. So let's have a look you see here. A medallion. Fantastic. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of Grim Tales, The Bride. I'm your Gibbs. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and favorite and Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. 
talk to you soon.